Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nico and I am a full-time nurse and a uh, trying to be full-time eBay here. Uh, I know I look run over. I am really tired. So I worked a night shift Tuesday night and it was only one uh, night shift, but then, you know, you switch your whole body when I'm doing a night shift, I start because I'm a day shift, you know, infection control person, and I'm also a day shift nurse. So I don't mind helping out, and I'm really, really trying to support the facility that I work at. So when I need to do a night shift, I don't mind. But um, a couple days before I start realizing, okay, this is coming up, and I don't want to be super tired at work because it's an important job, just like every job is. So I try to start switching, and so I get kind of anxiety that, you know, oh, i got to switch. And then I made it through the night. I really was only tired for about like a half hour. I was just really careful what I ate, and there was a lot going on, so that worked out. And I thought, okay, I'm home free. I got the shift over with. So I came home, and I slept until like 3 in the afternoon, and then I thought, okay, I'm going to stay up till 1 or 2 in the morning and then try to switch back. Well, I could not sleep last night at all. So I have been up since 3 yesterday, and it's 11.45 now. So by 3 o'clock, I will have been up a full 24 hours. Um, so now I have to try to either fight to stay up till like 7 or 8 tonight, which I just don't know if I have it in me, or just try to take a really, really short nap for like an hour and a half just to get by then get up, and even if all I do is watch TV just to stay awake or cook or something I like, then um, that'll be good, and I'll get switched again. And um, I just decided I'm just going to tell my boss, you know, um, somebody, oh, Jean, my hubby sent me something. Um, I'm just going to tell my boss, you know, it's not financially worth it to me unless I'm doing three night shifts in a row. Because, yes, I did get paid a pickup bonus, that's true, and I did get paid for the night shift differential and all that, but it messes me up for almost four days. Um, I kind of suffer from a little bit of insomnia anyway, and then you add the night to the day, and um, I don't work till Friday, so I'm sure I'll be fine, but I want my days at home to be mine. They need to be eBay. I have a lot of commitments, and I don't want to be groggy and tired on my days off, at least not more than you normally would be on your day off. And uh, so I just got to talk to my boss about that, and I'll just put my foot down and say, you either give me three pickup bonuses and three night shifts, or I am not going to help because it's too much of a toll. I'm not uh, 35 anymore. I am 54, and you can just tell it just kind of took its toll. So um, so anyway, um, the other thing that happened, why I haven't been here, is that I... Uh, uh, I had wanted to get ready for Christmas, bake Christmas cookies, put things in the freezer, and more for Thanksgiving, actually, because I have five or six days off at Thanksgiving, and somehow I also got Christmas off. I got four days off at Christmas. Um, some of my fellow nurses, they want that double pay on the holidays, and I would like to have it too, but I'd rather have the time off. So, um, you know, I let them go ahead and have it, so it means that I get both holidays off this year, which I am not going to complain about, because because nursing is supposed to be supplemental to my business until my business is out, you know, completely off the ground and I get my ASP up. So um, I'm still going to stay with nursing, but I'm just saying I, I did not intend to commit to 60, 70, 80 hours a week. And sometimes that's what's happening. So I am more than fine with just taking my holidays. But what happened is I have um, a fridge and a freezer together downstairs and I have a little freezer like from Sam's it's like a decent four four foot or four whatever the cubic feet on that is and then I have our upstairs side by side and I'm pretty proud of it but that upstairs side by side is like over 30 years old um, it's been in the house for 17 years since we've lived here and there's just never a good reason to get rid of it like I want to get rid of it because it's ugly and it's old but on the other hand it works better than most people's fridges and refrigerators so I have not I didn't have it all full but over time I had this ingredient and that ingredient and then my daughter moved to Denver so she left a bunch of her stuff and then our church across the street um this big organization donated literally probably five hundred dollars in food unopened all good expirations cream cheese whipping cream bread, tortillas, I just can go on and on and on. 
And so we did our best to distribute it to families in need, like just directly give it to them. But we do a lot of feeding at our church. We do feed kids on Wednesday nights. And then we also have dinners that are attended by the elderly a lot. So all of this free, unexpired, amazing ingredient ingredients came our way. And so I wanted to prep cook a lot of that stuff for tonight, which is Wednesday night for our kids program and then also get started for the holidays because we do distribute a lot of cookies and take people things. So anyway, I thought, you know, I have four days off. I'm going to enjoy it. I love to cook. I'm going to prep and cook and put things in the freezer and make cakes and, you know, label them and date them. And then that way in a couple weeks for Thanksgiving at church, we have cakes there or whatever. So I got started on this project, and then, of course, my side-by-side that I'm so proud of upstairs went, like, stopped cooling food. Now, thankfully, I saw it right away. I was actively in there a lot. I was cooking for two straight days. So it's not like it got away from me, and most of the food was stored at the church anyway. But I had to hurry and put everything downstairs And then I had stuff all over the counter, head to toe flour, sugar, you know, baking ingredients, just all over every surface in my kitchen, non, non, um, cooled ones, you know, things that didn't need to be in the fridge. So I had just torn it all out of my cupboards, thrown away the few things that were expired that were not good. And then I was going to town just watching TV for two days and cooking. And then of course my fridge upstairs goes out and I can't use it because I I needed to see what was wrong. So now I'm up and down this huge flight of stairs every time I need milk for a recipe or an egg or anything. And it just became this huge thing. So they, uh, we pulled off the panel. We tried to defrost it. See, you know, because it is old. Um, They said we did the right thing. That was part of it. But there's some kind of defrost mechanism that isn't working on either side. So according to them, for 100 bucks, my my 30-year-old side-by-side is still good to go. There's still no reason to replace it. Um, I have saved for years knowing that I needed a new side-by-side. So if that ends up not working, I've got the money and I've kind of got one picked out. So it's no big deal. But Anyway, talk about not getting anything listed. Talk about a mess um, of trying to cook with one refrigerator out. So it's good. They're going to fix it by next Wednesday. They ordered the part. And uh, I have done no listing at all. I did ship orders every day, but I've been busy at work and then busy with this project. So um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Enough about me, but that's where I've been for the last week and a half. And... uh, Yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to try to sleep here in a minute. But we have seven orders for $204.48. And I love it. I I am really happy every single day. I just could not get on and make a video, but that is how it's been. I've had some days where I've had three or $400 in orders, and it's been like five or six things. So I'm going to divide that by seven. So that is an average sale price of 29.21. Now on this one, I do have two really low items that I would never buy again. So that does take away from the average. But let me go look at my average here, see how my average is holding out. So, ooh, wow. My average sale price right now is $37.62. It's up 17% over the previous time period. Now, my sales are still way down. It says 8.3% over the versus the the previous time period, but I don't have that, you know, accurate. It's a lot farther down. It's probably 50% down or more on my total sales, but I am successfully getting that ASP raised, and so it's gonna be really, really, really good. Um, I'm just putting too much time and effort into work right now, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and see what I shipped, or what I need to ship. I do need to get to the post office. It's almost noon, and um, oh, I got another order that came in. So now we're at eight orders. Eight orders for $239.02. I'll pull that after we're done. That is a vintage L.L. Bean jacket that just sold. So, all right, let's see where we're at, guys. Um, This is kind of clearance. We hoped to get a lot more for this. This is a DVD that is out of print, and it's about a uh, deaf person. So it is um, 
a movie about deafness. Um, I think it's a documentary. We thought we would get more since it was out of print, but it just didn't happen. So we ended up taking $14.45 plus shipping, so $20.70. Well, my black markers aren't crossing it off. I need some new ones. All right, let's weigh this here. Okay. 10 ounces. But yeah, I have some good sales. Um, I'm going to have to move this out of my way here, guys. Sorry, you talk about being unorganized. I am the epitome of an organization. But my freezers that are done, all my stuff's lined up, all my spaghetti sauce and all this stuff. And then the church is the same. All the stuff I'm cooking for them is all, you know, it's going to be good. A lot of good Christmas cookies coming up. Uh, so I charge $4.99 in shipping. This is going to Riverside, California, and it's going to cost $4.88. What I wish I would have done is all my eBay first and then said, oh, okay, I've got time to cook. But um, I didn't. I thought I could get it done sooner. And oh, man, what a mess. This is taking a minute to load. My laptop, too, that I have upstairs that I use for recipes or just when I'm upstairs working, um, the mouse keeps, like, hanging up. So, like, I'll it'll work for a while, but then when I really need to go to a recipe, um, the mouse just there is no cursor so I'm probably on my way to needing a new laptop I'm gonna have to do that I could get an external mouse too because the laptop itself seems okay so if it's just the keypad I'll probably just try um, ordering a mouse first all right we got that one done Let's see what's next all right, this one is a pair of earrings. So these are to my consignment client. Um, yeah, two different people ordered earrings from my consignment client. I really need to get that jewelry done because Christmas, obviously, even for used items, would be the time to have it done. So I need to really um, get with that. These are Florenza brand um, star earrings. I think I've got them wrapped too well for you to see them. Yeah, I do. I put them in bubble wrap and a box. Uh, these are clip-on, they're clusters, they're, they have rhinestones, they're vintage, and they are signed Florenza. I've had these a while, um, I tried to get more, uh, but I finally came down, so they offered us $49, and I took that, plus shipping, so $60.19, so my client will be very happy with that. Okay, we have three ounces, so I'm going to put four in here. Um, and then I need to get the label on this wonderful package. This is going to Fleming Island, Florida. I charged $6.99, and it's going to cost $3.97. Okay. I have this white fudge that I want to use because I have a ton of caro syrup for some reason all unexpired i guess maybe i bought it for easter and i was going to make something and then i never did i don't know how i ended up with several bo bottles of caro syrup but there's this white fudge recipe that looks to die for so i'm going to make that and uh freeze it for thanksgiving in a week um fudge freeze is pretty good for me and uh so I, or I might use it for an event here in the next week, but I think I would still uh, freeze it. I'm going to make sure this doesn't get caught in the, in the conveyor belt or whatever. My poor VA, he messaged me like two days ago, and I have not been ignoring him. I've just been like in the middle of having stuff on my hands or I was sleeping, and I just, I need to get back with the poor guy and uh, tell him I'm going to send him some work here. Um, this is a, uh, a book. It is a vintage Ford truck book. 
Uh, these are bodybuilders layout books, repair guides, manual, rare. Now, I had seen some of these going for upwards of 60 bucks, and so at a estate sale, I picked up all four of them. It, it's been a while. I want to say I paid a buck or two a piece on them. Um, I sold one like a month ago, and I got closer to $35. Uh, on this one, I've had these for four months, five months. So I just went ahead and I took $27.99 plus shipping, so $38.07. It's time to let them go. Um, they just were not moving for as much as I had hoped. But we're getting them going, and that's still a great profit. And I'm still happy with that. All right, one pound, seven ounces. Um, this is going to Blaine, Washington. I charged $7 by media mail. That's what they wanted. So it's going to cost $4.67. So I work five days in a row starting this weekend, three paperwork days for infection control, and then two days on the floor as a nurse. So it'll be a long five days, but um, then I get so much time off the rest of the month. And uh, the weekend shifts, as far as the nurse, are usually, you know, pretty good, pretty fun. We'll see. I'm definitely going to cook something to take for that. It helps if you have paper or labels. Alright. Alright, this one is one of the clearance ones that I'm really happy to get rid of. This is a real tree jacket. Normally, real tree will have camo in it, and this one has um, a little bit of camouflage, like on the front, and it's red and really cute. It's but it is a women's medium. It's not that rare. Um, I have hiking, gorp core, camouflage, all in the title, and I just could not get this to sell. So uh, anyway, it finally sold for seven dollars and ninety-four cents plus shipping, so eighteen sixty-two. Never would pick this up again. Um, I thought it was really cute, but the size is not something that I would do, and I don't think it has a hundred percent sell-through. And uh, I should have been paying more attention at the time, but I just thought it was cute, or it came in a group of stuff, and I thought I would go ahead and list it, but. It has clogged up my store for over a year, if not two, and uh, I am learning my lesson. All right, one pound, five ounces. Uh, this is going to Santa Cruz, California. I charged $9.95, and it's going to cost $7.85. I could not quite squeeze this into a padded flat rate, so that's why it's going ground advantage. I'm in the middle of, I've cooked for two straight days and yet I have nothing to eat. It's all like baked goods or just all this stuff and so nothing nothing of all the cooking I've done for two days is like complete yet or ready to eat and so I'm really, really hungry and I don't even know what to eat. I'm probably going to have to go like buy a piece of pizza at our convenience store. I'm not kidding at all. And that's fine if I hadn't cooked for two days. <laughs> I am making this really good pulled pulled barbecue chicken. Um, I made one batch of it for Sunday for potluck, and it was really popular. That was completely wiped out, so I didn't have any leftovers. And I have some more chicken, so I'm in the middle of making some more of that. Um, it's really good. It's barbecue sauce, brown sugar. Um, what else is in it? Three or four things. Sorry, I should at least be able to tell you what's in it. Um, KJL for Avon. Now, Avon as a rule is not necessarily worth it. This is a pair of Sunflower Onyx Faux Rhinestones. But this particular one, Kenneth J. Lane, KJL, you'll see that signature on it. So even if it's for Avon, and it'll say Avon also, they can still sell. Kenneth J. Lane in jewelry, I found out, is a halfway decent brand. 
So anyway, I held on to these for too long, but we did end up getting $29.99 plus shipping. So $35.99. And um, let's see here. How long I've had this? I had this since July 16th, so that's just way too long. My client just has you know all these jewelry pieces and she would have been fine with 20 just to get it moving but um that's okay we uh i just didn't get back to it and it's it's fine it's good uh so this is going to newcastle delaware this is three ounces so i'll put four and i charged six dollars it's going to cost 3.97 and again i gotta work with getting the label on here somehow some way i think i'll keep this longer piece so that um, i have something to put the label on yeah i really need a straight four days down here but that's okay um i am catching up soon and it is all good. Okay. There is that one. Let's see what we got next. All right, this is definitely a clearance item. I'm so glad this is gone. This has to be two years old. I would never buy this again. This go around, I've had this since May 21st of 2023, and it is now um, November. But this is a really cute red skirt. It's a Susanna Monaco skirt, but it, I have read in the title, so there must be something. Let me go see what's wrong with this. I would not list this again. Um, a few small stains near the right pocket. So yeah, they are very, very small. You can barely see them, I remember now. Um, but it just is enough to wear a $20 skirt. People just did not want it. The other problem is this is a medium, and so even though it's really cute, um, I just buy mediums in very, very few brands. It just um, isn't worth it to me. It just takes longer to sell. So anyway, I finally took three bucks for this thing. I've had it so long. I bet I've had this two years. So now uh, $10.21 total. So that's why my, you know, eight items at $239.02 is less than my $37 um, average sale price. But it's okay. I don't want to shock my store by pulling out all the things that probably need pulled out of it. I am happy with the process. Um, yes, I wish it was faster, but... Uh, this is going to cost uh, $4.88. It's going to Redlands, California, and I charged $6.95. My sales are really, really, really good considering that I'm not getting any listings done. Whenever I list, um, those things are selling. So um, I hope your eBay is doing good. I hope you're getting your listings done better than I am. one more and then I have to go get the other one but one more to show you this is another one um, I would not buy this again either this is Lily Pulitzer and I used to say you know anything in Lily Pulitzer I'm picking it up and this is darling I love this skirt but it is a size 2 you know you can see how cute it is but a size 2 is this a skirt no this is just a skirt so um Anyway, I'm just making sure it's, yeah, it's clean. Um, I was going to say, I normally check that, but uh, anyway, so it's it's darling, but a size two is not um, something that even in Lily Pulitzer, I can get to move. So I finally took 12 bucks plus shipping, $20.70. I pick up Lily Pulitzer in anything over like a 10. Um, I just cannot get it to move. Maybe you guys can, but I can't. So let's see where this is going here. And I picked this up in the last probably four or five months. So I was still thinking that there were some size twos that were worth it. Um, I was wrong on this one. Definitely wrong. I'm waiting for my order page to pull up now. It's got a problem. Hopefully my internet is still working. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. It's really... Okay, here we go. It's really taking that long. Um, okay, so 5.6 ounces. It's going to... So I'm going to bump this up to 6 ounces if my computer... This isn't my laptop that I'm having trouble with either. This is the other, so... Must be either slow internet or slow eBay. Uh, this is going to Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, I charged $6.99 and it's going to cost There is that one. And then the yellow bean that I'm going to go pull. Let's see, what is 8 at, let's see, 239.02 divided by 8. So that's still 29.87. So those two really low orders are still keeping my average sale price lower than I want. Because that includes shipping also. So 29.87 including the shipping is... Uh, you know, it's okay, but my average is 37, and I want to keep it up there. So I'm going to go pull this vintage L.L. Bean jacket. It does have Aztec um, trim on it. So I had it at $40, I think, in the last month or two, but I just could not get it. It is, uh, it's, it's a men's large. I probably could have held out, um, but it's kind of a windbreaker material. It's not the fleece. So I went ahead and took 25 bucks today. I'm happy with that. It's going to Lake Charles, Louisiana. So $34.54 all in. So that's kind of at my average. That's okay. And I'm going to go grab this and uh, get it shipped. So guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, <laughs> and um, I have a haul for you. I just, I won't get to it right today. Um, but I, uh, I hope you'll... Uh, tune in and, and tune in for it. So thanks for joining me and please make a comment and subscribe. It really helps my channel and I do enjoy hearing from you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye guys.